Creepy Joe Biden back in the news. Three more women accuse him of inappropriate touching. So let's find out. Joe Biden. So the Joe Biden, the vice president, former vice president under Barack Obama from 2008 to 2016, is in the news only because he declared himself, maybe I'll run for president. I don't know, you know, maybe I'll fucking, I don't know. If people want me to run for president, I'll run for president. Uh, Joe Biden, Mr. Joe, Mr. Humble Joe Biden, right? He's going to run for president, right? So he's back in the news. Uh, Zero Hedge is reporting three more women accused Biden of inappropriate touching. But let's, um, I'm going to give Joe Biden the benefit of the doubt. He released a video and um, he he does a, he, let's watch the video and then we'll talk about it. Folks, in the coming month, I expect to be talking to you about a whole lot of issues and I'll always be direct with you. But today I want to talk about just as a support and encouragement that I've made to women and some men and I've made them uncomfortable. And I always tried to be, uh, in my career, I've always tried to make a human connection. That's my responsibility, I think. I shake hands, I hug people, I, I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, you can do this. And, and, uh, and whether they're women, men, young, old, it's, it's the way I've always been. It's the way I've tried to show I care about them and I'm listening. And over the years, knowing what I've been through, the things that I've faced, I've found that scores, if not hundreds of people have come up to me and reached out for solace and comfort, something, something, anything that may help them get through the tragedy they're going through. And, and, uh, and, and so I, it's just, just who, who I am. And I've never thought of politics as cold and antiseptic. I, I've always thought it about connecting with people. As I said, shaking hands, uh, hands on the shoulder, a hug, uh, encouragement. And now, and now it, it's all about taking selfies together. Uh, you know, social norms have begun to change, they've shifted, and the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. My responsibility, and I'll meet it. But I'll always believe governing, quite frankly, life for that matter, is about connecting, about connecting with people. That won't change, but I will be more mindful and respectful of people's personal space. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I've worked my whole life to empower women. I've worked my whole life to prevent abuse. I've written a and, and so the idea that I can adjust to the fact that personal space is important, more important than it's ever been, is, is, is just not thinkable. I will. I will. So that was pretty interesting, right? So you got to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's, he's like, uh, I get it. I get it, right? So he's, he's a touchy-feely guy, right? It's, I don't know, when you watch the video, you, you listen to him and, is it orchestrated? Is it is it something like a ploy to to dissolve uh, bad press? Yeah, it is. But it's it's who he is. Right? This guy's a touchy feely guy. It's like what's where's the women, right? The fucking woman down in in uh, you know. It, it, he, so let's look at this. The, the, the women. Where's the woman that that he reached? He came up behind her, smelled her hair, and gave her a kiss on the head. Where, why don't you turn around and say, "Get the fuck! Whoa! What the fuck!" Oh, get your hands off me, you creepy fuck! What? Where's that? Why is Why is Biden put to put fucking elbow in the in the gut? Hey, hey, right? Where's the? Where? Just get your hands off me, you creepy fuck! Where's that? Where? How come we've lost our ability to say get your hands off me? You know, don't touch, don't cross this line, right? I, I think that 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 element of ignorance in the story and the storytelling of Joe Biden is relevant because you can flash a million pictures. Look, if you're, if you, if you operate in the public eye, if you operate in front of cameras, you could, you could catch a million stills of you doing inappropriate things, seemingly inappropriate things and saying very stupid things. And you could sew them all together and then point the finger and uh, say, Oh, see this guy. He's a, he's a, he's a creepy child molester and a woman womanizer right you know now look if the woman the woman claiming that um the the la last woman the congresswoman whatever the fuck she is who cares claims that joe biden came up behind her put two arms on her shoulders smelled her hair and kissed her head now 
it is inappropriate. But did he did did the woman say he had his you know like a stiff dick in my you know on, on my pants? You know what I mean? Like really inappropriate, like psycho inappropriate. Right? No, he's just a touchy feely guy, right? So I mean, based on that, based on that video, I, I give him a pass for now. It doesn't mean I like Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a shit sandwich in terms of politics. He's Hillary Clinton with a dick. Uh, he's a, he's a nobody. He's a he's a one. He's never gotten one percent of any vote that he's ever run in. You know, other than the Senate, where I don't know how the hell he won. But running for president, he's a one percenter. Right? Uh, so mere hours after publishing that video, zero hedge reporting. Uh, he vowed to be more respectful towards women after a controversy over his history of inappropriate physical contact with women exploded onto the front pages. Three more women have come forward to the, quote, Washington Post <laughs> to share their own stories about their uh, encounters with the former VEP, VP, bringing the total number now to seven women Seven women. All right, this is who the guy is, right? Look, he's just fucking, come on, man. This is, this is. All three women told WAPO that Biden's unwillingness to apologize for his behavior in his, look, this, I'm not even going to read this bullshit. This is, he's out of control. This is, this is, this Me Too shit out of control. Is he a child, is Joe Biden a fucking child molester? Of course not, right? I mean, come on. He's just. He's an inappropriate, touchy-feely, creepy kind of character, right? It doesn't make it, it doesn't make him a bad guy. I know people that do that all the time, you know? Like, I, I worked in a in a nursing home once, and fucking, you know, old ladies come up to you, they want to hold your hand, they want to, oh, come here, honey, and they want to show you something. You know, it, it's just, what is what is appropriate, what is inappropriate? It's up to the... What what do I accept as appropriate, right? If you if you again boundaries. If you if I feel inappropriate with you touching me, I'm gonna let you know. Where's the where's the stand up for yourself aspect of this, right? So so Joe Biden again, shit sandwich running for president. I think we should look at this right here. This is fascinating. Anyone? This is Kate Casey Hunt, and and again, it's not a it's just not campaigning. This is just talk. Casey Hunt, anyone who doesn't treat Bernie Sanders becoming the Democratic nominee as a realistic, a realistic and even likely possibility is making a big mistake and failed to learn from the mistakes made in 2006. Hmm, interesting, interesting, right? So, so Joe Biden, wow, Joe Biden's taking some shit, man. Joe Biden's in the shit house for touching, inappropriate touching. I don't know. I give him a pass, you know, based on, based on his uh, his his testimony, based on lack of, you know, solid evidence of really illegal, inappropriate touching. Is it? Is it? You know, it's not. I, I don't know. I I leave it there. I give him a pass. Marcus Conti reporting. Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, sign, uh, register for, uh, subscribe to the uh, to the backup channel, Marcus Conti too.